Howdy. Well, it's Sunday afternoon and uh, got my brother-in-law Wade here with me. And uh, we've got our tandem kayak set up and uh, we're going for a dive. This is our location, or this is our launch location, I should say. And uh, I'm actually not going to tell you where this is. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. But uh, I'll give you a hint. It's the wild, wild west. And uh, this is a harbour. So we're going to paddle down the harbour, out over the bar, and uh, go for a dive. Targets today are pole and crayfish. But, uh, you know, if we... Uh, see any fish <laughs> they better look out as we got underway we started to enjoy the beautiful scenery that this west coast harbour has it was fairly hard work with the breeze but uh, we got it done towards the entrance we started to encounter a bit of rougher water and as we crossed the bar it was a little bit of chop but Man, it was real, real good. Wow. I'm really fizzing about this. We've got beautiful clean water and a really, really low swell. It's awesome. We're really hot. We're both really hot. We've been paddling for maybe about 30 minutes now. Get out here. We're not far from where we're going to dive, but oh wow. If you don't get the wild, wild west coast looking like this often. Yeah. You got your knife on you? Yeah. Have you got your knife on you? There's a real big power right where my gun is. I'd already pulled a couple of power from here but there was one really big one I don't carry a knife to get my power I normally just strike them at the side to pull them off this one had clamped down when I pulled the other two so I had to take a few goes to get it I got it but there's one more down there It wasn't long after that I found a really good patch of power and soon I was getting them by the twos and threes. They were good sized power, all well over legal. And in fact, some of them were pretty close to legal sideways. After a while, I found a hole that was really loaded with power. They just seem to be everywhere, but I already had my limit. Oi. I've got my, I've got my limit. Um, just go to where my gun is. There's a hole there. Shipload in there. I'm just going to go along here and look for craze now. Before long, I'd found a likely looking hole. I could see one crayfish behind a rock, but I was pretty sure there'd be more in there. 
As I came in and poked my head in a crack, I saw two really good sized ones. It was a little tricky reversing out of the hole, but with two big fat crayfish in my hand, it was well worth it. A little while later, I found another really good patch. There were crayfish everywhere. They weren't too worried about me till I started grabbing them. There was a good lot sitting under that rock, but they were going to be hard to grab, so I decided to leave them. And uh, I just thought I'd look on the other side when I saw this guy. And he was an easy grab too. That was another two fat crayfish for the bag. The bag was starting to get full so it was a little tricky to get them in. I actually had one crayfish stashed under my arm while I put the first one in. And then it was a lot easier once that one was in to get the other one. My bag's full! <laughs> With the bag full, it was time to do some spear fishing. I hunted around, sneaking over ledges and things, but all I was seeing was schools of juvenile trevally and kawai. Not really what I was after, so I left them to it. even more than when we came out. Just a tiny little break there and uh, we'll see you back at the car. All right we've made it back and um, yeah damn we've got a good feed. Check this out. Oh hell yeah what do you reckon Wade? Oh beauty week. She beauty all right. So we'll leave it here for this week and um, yeah, join us next week or join us for the next video.